Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food, and I am here today with our July Aldi haul. I spent about 85 bucks and some change. I didn't need a lot of stuff. If you've been watching our channel, I've been doing a lot of grocery hauls, so I really just needed some fill-in stuff. So let me show you what I picked up today. So I got some butter lettuce for um, our dinners. And then I also grabbed some spinach for a recipe and um, just to have on hand, we can make salads out of this. I got my husband Howard his avocados. He loves avocados and could eat them breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And this was a bag of avocados for $2.69. And I also plan on trying out the avocado um, on my seven month old baby. He can eat solid foods now and this is something that the doctor said would be good for him. So I'm gonna mash it up and see if he is team avocado like his daddy or no avocado like his mommy. I got four cans of tomato sauces for recipes. Um, they are they were 25 cents a piece. And then I got my four cans of green beans and the green beans were 49 cents each. I grabbed some pistachios, these were $5.99. And then I also grabbed these salt and pepper pistachios. Can't remember how much those were. I grabbed a bag of lemons for recipes and these were $2.99 and these are really big lemons. So um, I was excited about that. I grabbed a graham cracker crust for a recipe. I do have um, some other graham cracker crusts, but they are the kind um, that have nuts in them like pecans and I just needed a plain one for the recipe that I plan on um, making. And then grabbed some popcorn shrimp. I've never bought their popcorn shrimp before, but the reason I bought it is because um, my husband and I were still trying to, you know, use stuff that we have on hand. And one of the things that we have a lot of is different sauces in our pantry. So I plan on making this chicken and then tossing it in sauce, kind of like a boneless um, wing, boneless wing. So that's why I put this up. We also needed some bacon. And I can't remember if I've had their bacon before, but I needed some for recipes. I grabbed two packages of mozzarella cheese. These are one pound bags, and I think these were $2.75, which is a pretty good deal. I also grabbed um, a um, pint of whipping cream. This was $2.09 for recipes. I've discovered how easy it is to make my own fettuccine Alfredo, so now I just like to have this on hand. And then I also grabbed some ghee, and I have not seen this at Aldi in a while. And ghee, uh, you can keep it on your countertop. It's just clarified butter. And I use it for um, anything that I would use olive oil in. So I use it for eggs, I use it for sauteing, I use it for whatever. I just love having ghee. And then, let me go back here. So I have talked about these kits before. Um, they have these out, well now I found out it's twice a year, but I thought it was just one time a year that they bring these to all these. And we really like these stir fry kits. So they have two varieties. You can get the Korean style spicy barbecue chicken or the teriyaki stir fry kit. And let me kind of show you what's in there. So you can see the chicken right there. And then there's the sauce packet. There's the noodles. In order to stretch, this is enough for us, the two of us. But in order to stretch it, I do usually add some fresh broccoli in there and it's really, really good. So I'm always excited when they bring these back to Aldi. So like I said, I got two of those and they were $7.99 each. I grabbed this blueberry yogurt for a recipe that I'm going to be trying out. And then I also grabbed some rotisserie chicken, family size. And I didn't realize this until after I grabbed it, but they actually, this chicken comes in two eight ounce pouches, which is great. So you see it right there. So you don't have to worry about the meat going bad. You don't have to open up the whole thing and risk it going bad. So I was excited about that. I also love wonton strips. I like to add them to soups and different things. And I also just like to munch on them on their own. And I've never seen the garlic ginger flavor. So I wanted to give that a try. Also grab these cookie thins. Um, there is a name brand, which the name escapes me right now, but I really like that one. And so um, I was excited to see this because I'm assuming it's gonna taste very similar. So they have the lime and they also have the lemon. 
Um, I saw these pork burnt ends. My husband and I, we both like barbecue and we like burnt ends, so never tried this before, but wanted to give it a try. I think it was $5.99. And my husband is a huge fan of steamed dumplings, and this is something I've not seen at Aldi. I think it's new, and of course it's seasonal. And you get six dumplings, and you cook them in the tray. Um, in the microwave and they are chicken dumplings. So I'm excited for him to try these. And then my husband drinks coffee, not all the time, but he was totally out. And so I grabbed some French roast coffee. I've never bought coffee from Aldi and I'm not a coffee drinker myself. So hopefully this is good and he'll like it. And then the last thing that I picked up from Aldi that I was really excited to see was ginger root. Now I've never seen this in my Aldi and you may already know, how expensive ginger root is, but I got this huge, uh, I think it's a pretty big bag of ginger root. It was $1.29. So I'm planning to use this to um, like marinate meat and grill it and things like that. So I like to have some fresh ginger in my meat sometimes to grill it, to give it that kind of Asian flair. There's so many different things you can do with ginger, but that's what I thought of initially when I saw it. So. Anyway, this is it for my Aldi haul. Not a lot of stuff, like I said, I've been doing a lot of grocery hauls, so we really didn't need much, but I wanted to share it with you guys. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up, and if you have not joined our YouTube family, we certainly love to have you. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.